Peace to everyone. I wanted to do a hopefully quick video here on how to use the Gunstock War Club, depending on if it has a blade or not. Now, I've been doing Highland Broadsword for a long time. I've been training in European martial arts for quite a while. And the same basic principles can apply when using other weapons. Um, for example, in Highland Broadsword, you'd have an inside and outside guard. You know, St. George guard, you'd have a squadron guard, you'd have, you know, outside half hanger, you know, half circle guard. There's a bunch of different guards that you could be doing with this same weapon. The, the, the principles are pretty universal with a lot of weapons, especially straighter bladed weapons. But um, <clears throat> I know George Lapine has a system of martial arts that where he actually adds native weapons. He incorporates, I can't remember what tribe he belongs to. I remember the name of his martial art, but he has um, a system where he's like, you know, blocking outside, inside, St. George and Spadroon. He's not calling it under those names. I'm using those names because that's what I'm most familiar with, okay? But you can block with this guy. You can block either way against somebody, and you can be less in danger with this one right here because there's no blade. You take this guy right here, yeah, you can block here, you can block here, you can block here. You don't wanna block here because that's something that can easily happen if you block. You, you have to hold it really high. And even then, I would rather just do this. And even then, I don't wanna do that for obvious reasons. Okay? You gotta be careful with this. So I have an alternative method for how you use this than how you'd use this one. Now, I will say though, this one, instead of the blade going straight from, from the, uh, the knee of the doe, because this, this looks like, this looks like a deer's leg, okay? And that's kind of the thing, is that you hold one hand or you hold two hands. You hold two hands, these fingers go here, thumb goes here, these fingers go here, and you can really, you know, a lot of power to it, but you can also do single-handed, okay? <clears throat> this one here, because the uh, the crook of the knee is, uh, this is going above the knee, you could actually block more easily. This is also a longer version, and it's, you know, it's longer, okay? They typically would have been more about this size, to be honest. Some of them were uh, kind of big like this guy here, but um, they were probably used more ceremonially and decoratively, and as a status symbol. I'm gonna stand up here and show you guys something, okay? My suggestion, my theory for this weapon right here, the way it is, because you don't wanna get yourself, you don't wanna puncture yourself anywhere, okay? You don't wanna do that. This is how I would use this weapon. <clears throat> you do the cuts like so, okay? You know, actually I'd probably come like this and kind of rake across. Rake across, rake across, you know, you know. Here's the thing. The problem with swinging it this way is you're going to hit them with this part right here. You're not as likely to hit them with this part here. If you're using a sword, you'd usually use <coughs> basically the last, um, you're cutting with more of the last like six inches of the blade rather than the middle or lower part of the blade. You're going to be blocking with the lower half. You're going to be cutting with the upper half in the last quarter of the blade basically, so more than six inches. That's what you're gonna be cutting with, okay? Um, <clears throat> so you have to really come in close to get them. So, you know, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a close quarter combat weapon. It's not gonna be something where, let's just say, you take this guy, where you're gonna strike, you can strike him further away with this guy here, okay? this. This is a safer weapon for the user. And you can still bludgeon the crap out of your opponent. This one's more deadly for your opponent, but more deadly for yourself as well. That's the point I'm trying to make here. So, so yeah, send it forward, send it forward. Rake, 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 rake. Things like that. That's what you'd want to do with this. That's what I would do. Now that I've been playing with this thing, I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to die at the hands of my own weapon or scout myself, 
you know, scrape myself across the face because I'm blocking someone else's attack. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. So <clears throat> your fighting style would have to change necessarily to protect yourself and still fight your opponents. This would be much easier to fight with. Way easier. Way safer for you. And still deadly for your opponent. But not from punctures. Not from raking. Okay, more from <clears throat> just, okay, <clears throat> right here, baby. Not even here as much. You could do that too, but right here, that's a sweet spot, okay? Right? That's how you're going to want to do it, okay? This guy right here, if you had one this big, if you did, it's going to be... A little more sluggish, but you can still do some, you can still get somebody, you can still do some, some major damage to them. Um, you have a blade on it, you have a major, huge blade on it. Thing is, I wouldn't want to be raking with this one here. You know, you, know, you could do things like that. Um, this size probably matters more if you're going to be actually hitting somebody with this side than cutting them with this side. Unless it's sticking out right here, like this one is doing. What I like about this one is <clears throat> I feel safer hitting someone like that, right? Because this, this is not getting me. See that? It's not getting me at all. Okay? If I can flip it around and I can get them. Okay? <clears throat> and because it's already kicking forward... That's the nice thing I like about this one. It's kicking forward, so if I'm going to send forward my attack, because it's now, it's, it, as it's going down, it's actually facing your opponent more so than <clears throat> this one is. Your opponent's over here. Your blade's going down here. Unless you're really close to him, and you're sitting forward like that, okay? But if you're, if you're, if you're going down towards them, you're more likely to hit him with this. With this guy, you're actually more likely to hit them with this because it's kinked upward. So I prefer this style more now than I would have before because I've seen this style a lot more. <clears throat> I prefer this. Uh, this is the best of both worlds. You can bludgeon, you can block. Well, you can, you can block more easily, okay? And you can puncture, you can do what you got to do. You know, pommel somebody, okay? You know, this one, you can still do it this side, but you have less, it, it wants to spin more, and then shoo, you just cut yourself. Shoo, cut yourself. Do that, this is coming at you more. Do this, boom, but then you're risking that. This one, boom, you're fine. Boom, you know? So those were kind of my thoughts on the use of, of the various types of gunstock clubs based upon their own special attributes. So if anybody's curious, um, go make yourself one or hire me or somebody else to make one for you or buy the cold steel one. But the cold steel one is going to be the most like this. Okay. It feels a little bit different. It does. And it has a special uh, like a kydex sheath on the, uh, the blade which is not really, I mean, you know, like, like with this in here, you wouldn't historically be keeping this on here. I'm, I'm doing that, but look, I mean, like I said, like I can, I have to rake across myself if I block to really get myself as easily. It's, you know, you're, you're safer if you've got, well, of course here, you're not a safe head. That, that's actually, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you're St. George, you're a high spadroon. You know, anyway, I think you guys get the idea. Um, I have a lot of fun with these. I've had a lot of fun making these. And hopefully, hopefully you've had fun watching this. I'm sweating my butt off. I got to turn the fan back on. So I'll talk to you all later. But over watching. And until next time, um, Hadam Chichathlis.